My name is Adair Mulligan. I live in Lime Center Village, right down the hill from this project. And the Marshalls are, in essence, neighbors. I walk my dog past the house and, uh, often, and uh, we're proud to be hosting this kind of event here. This is a long tradition of, of helping our neighbors in Lyme, and we've got a lot of help now. I'm a member of the Conservation Commission and I also serve the, the Lyme Zoning Board of Adjustment. Um, there was a lot of attention paid to the environmental quality of the site and the engineering has been well done um, to uh, accommodate the site conditions here. Um, our Conservation Commission came up and very quietly uh, reviewed the, the permit application to be sure that there wouldn't be uh, impacts to the headwaters of Hughesbrook, which is really where we're standing right now. Um, but it's been very discreetly and, and happily handled by our fire chief and by volunteers in town. And our fire chief said, this house is unsafe, we've got to get the family out of there. And so the, uh, the town boards were able to help make that happen. I guess there's a, a cracked chimney that was allowing um, carbon monoxide to enter the home and the house, which had been built in 1999, uh, had not been, um, uh, the site work had not been done properly at the time that house had been constructed and that's what entered, uh, allowed the moisture to enter the basement and then create the mold situation which was really so dangerous for the family and for this family in particular. This was a, a difficult living situation and an unhealthy living situation for Cameron in particular because of his compromised immune system um, due to the leukemia. So uh, it, a new living situation was needed for this family. I'm a volunteer, yep. As I, as I went home from the zoning board meeting and uh, had found out at that meeting how to sign up to volunteer and I wanted to be part of it. Uh, so I went online and offered to do gardening or painting or, or any other kind of labor like that. They're not ready for the gardening yet, but um, I started out by helping with the insulation in the second floor bedrooms and uh, was working with a very skilled and quick person uh, from Laconia, a contractor is over here, and then went down and was uh, helping to insulate and move things around in the garage. Uh, I've been helping with the food, I've been uh, a runner for things, I've been carrying out debris, I've been uh, moving siding up and down the hillside, getting it out of the way so the septic could be built. Boy, it's places like a beehive. I work in the Connecticut River Valley um, from the Canadian border down to the Massachusetts border for my job and uh, I'm always struck with the warmth of the small, the small town communities and, and how they support each other. And this is nothing out of the realm of the ordinary in that sense and that uh, we have very tightly knit communities, people who respect each other's circumstances and appreciate them and help them when they can.